Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be why the Macau Grand Prix is so talked about. The Macau Grand Prix is made up of 3.8 miles, 6.2 kilometers, and of combination of fast, straight, tight corners with a circuit's minimum width being only 7 meters. It's recognized as one of the most challenging circuits in the world. In today's day and age, the Macau Grand Prix is most widely known as a very, very, very challenging circuit, being to have had a lot of accidents in the past. Many people have died at this circuit, and many, many people have been injured. Obviously, last year, in 2020, Yuri Vips took pole position in the High Tech Grand Prix in Formula 3, and then on podium, Veshaw won it, so Yuri Vips and Sargent. Involving one of the accidents was that Sophia Florsch, I probably have butchered that name, in this crash here. She did not die, she suffered spinal fracture in a Formula 3 car, became airborne after contact, leading into Lisboa corner, flipping over the catch fencing and striking a photographer's bunker. With the track dating back to 1954 as a treasure hunt around the streets of the city, but shortly after, it was suggested that the Hunt's track could also host a professional racing event for local motor enthusiasts. As we know, in recent years, Formula One and just racing in general, safety has increased massively. But before safety was the main thing in racing, a total of four drivers were killed and one fireman was killed here at this track. This track has only been won by some of the best drivers. Ayrton Senna, Michael Schumacher, Ralph Schumacher, David Coulthard, Antonio Felix da Costa, and recently, Dan Tictum. A lot of the drivers who have won this have gone on to race in Formula One or in some higher level of sport, like Antonio Felix da Costa, who went to race in Formula E, and recently, Dan Tictum, who is in Formula Two in the Red Bull Academy. Many, many racing cars have driven on this track, such as touring cars, motorcycles, GT Cup and Formula 3. The Macau Grand Prix is such a tricky and technical track that a lot of people watch it every, every year. There's tons of sources that you can find out there of why you should watch the Macau Grand Prix, just due to how exciting it can be. And set like the last this season's sing, uh, not Singapore, sorry, Silverstone Grand Prix. How exciting was that? Bunch of punctures. Imagine that, but in 15 laps of racing. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.